Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we'll see how to debug a Python program using Python IDLE. So to do that I'll use the add Python program. So this program is to add two numbers. We already discussed about this program in the previous tutorial. I'll give you the link of that in the description box. You can go and check that. And one more thing here I'm using IDLE dark theme. So here to use the debugger first we need to switch on the debugger. So for that first we need to open up the python shell. So here we have our python shell and here we can see debug option right. So click on that and here we can see debugger. So click on that. It will give a debug control window and here we can see debug is on now. Now if I close this window debug will be off. So if I close this here we can see debugger is off. So to on this go here and click on the debug. Here we can see the debug control window. Now this control window is inactive because here we can see we can't click on anything because it is inactive. To make it active what we need to do is to make it active I need to execute this program. To execute this program I'll press F5. So when I press F5 here we can see this window is active now. So here we can see five tabs. First one is go, step, over out and quit here we can see so if i press go what it will do is it will ask us to enter the input and it will give the output and using this option we can't see how the program works and in the debug control you can see here first line n1 is equal to int input enter the first number so i'll press go okay it will ask us to enter the first number here i'll enter number as one and i'll press enter now here we can see this uh, debug control is inactive. So when it asks the enter the first number it goes inactive. And here we can see we can enter the second number and it will give output. It won't show you how the program works. And about the out it assumes you are in a, some functions code. So it will finish the execution of the code. It won't show you the step by step execution of the program. It will just execute the program and it will show you the output. So here we can see in our program we don't have any functions so it will treat this as the function you are present in the function code so it won't show you every step of execution it will just give you the output. Here we can see when I press out it is inactive now and in the shell here we can see it will ask you to enter the number if I enter 1 it is still inactive if I enter 2 it will give the output. We can't see step by step execution using this out. So this out is helpful when you want to skip the step by step execution of a function. In the quit if I use quit so I'll again run this program so it will become active. So if I use quit it will quit the execution of the program. If you want to see how this program works which line is executed first how this program flows then you can use this step or over but if you use step option here this step option will give you the all the information about the program how it works all the internal command which python uses to execute this program it will show everything so i'll show you that so first i'll execute this so here we can see if i go through step here we can see the first line to execute is int input enter the first number i'll press step here so here we can see it will execute this if self closed okay all the internal commands which are used to execute this program it will show you that here we can see here we can see it will execute this it will execute this next it will ask you to enter the number so it will show you all the internal commands which are used to execute the program if i enter the first number it now so again here we can see it works like this but here we don't want that we want to see how the program works we don't want to know how this program works internally we just want to know which line is executing first and we want to know the flow of the program so for that the best option is here over so here we can see in the debug control the first line to execute is int input enter the first number so i'll press on the over so it will ask us to enter the number here we can see it is inactive now the debug control so i'll enter the input so i'll enter input as 3 
when I enter input as 3 and I need to press enter then it is active again and here we can see the n1 value will be initialized to 3 here we can see so now the next line to execute is enter the second number n2 so I'll again press over so it will ask us to enter the second number I'll enter second number as 4 and I'll press enter so here we can see n1 is 3 n2 is 4 and the next line to execute is result equal to n1 plus n2 so I'll click on over now here we can see result becomes 7 so the next line to execute is print n1 plus n2 is equal to result the print function so I'll press on over so it will print the output to the screen here we can see 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 so the execution is done so here we can see debug is on now if I close this window debug will be switched off so in this way you can debug a program this is the simple program that's why you can't see many steps but if you try to debug the program which contains loops and if else conditional statement you can easily understand how program works so this is about how we can debug a program using the debugger in the IDLE. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then take care.